Hello children, I greet you all. Uh, welcome to our online lessons. My name is Monda Hamid and today I'm going to take you through science. So um, in our previous lesson we talked about water harvesting. Um, going through this activity orally very very quickly then we go for today's lesson. So number one was what is water harvesting? Water harvesting is the way of collecting water from water sources. Then number two, identify any five ways of harvesting water. One, by using water tanks, by using basins, by using buckets, by using water gutters, by using pots, and so many others. Number three, point out and for items used to harvest water. Items used to harvest water, we can have pots, can have cups, basins, and so many others. We are going to add and make the list to four. Apart from rain, identify other three natural sources of water. Uh, we have lakes, rivers, oceans, seas, and so many others. Uh, let's down into artificial sources of water. Or we can talk of boreholes, protected wells, protected springs, and others. The list you check through your notes, you will see other artificial sources of, of water. In which three ways is rainfall useful to people? Rainfall provides water for domestic use. I hope you have that. Rainfall helps plants to grow well. I think you have that also. Uh, then rainfall uh, provides water for industrial uses. I think you also have that. And so many others you can go and check uh, through our notes. Identify the dangers of rainfall. Uh, here we said uh, two dangers of rainfall. Uh, it must begin with a keyword saying too much rainfall. It is not uh, dangerous unless it is too much. So I'm going to say too much rainfall causes soil erosion. Too much rainfall causes floods and so many others. You can go and cross check still. Uh, draw a name and two items used to collect water. I think you drew a cup hot, benson, and jerry can, and others, any two. I hope you draw them well, and you did the work very smartly. That is okay. If you, did not, if you did not do, that's not very good. So make sure next time when you are given work, try all what it takes and you do it. So uh, children, today we are going to talk about primary uh, PHC. Uh, so we are going to write PHC in full. We are going to define PHC. Uh, we are going to identify the elements of PHC. Then we are also going to identify the roles played by individuals, families, and communities to promote PHC. Uh, so we move quickly. Session one, we are talking about PHC. And as usual, I'm going to give you activity of one minute. You write what you think PHC in full is. Write PHC in full. I hope you have everything there. Just one minute, and then we shall uh, compare with mine. I think you are done. It's not something uh, very long. So we have PHC. What does it stand for? PHC stands for primary health care. Can we say that? Primary health care. Can we spell primary quickly? Primary. P-R-I-M-A-R-Y. Then can we spell health quickly? Healthy. H-E-A-L-T-H. Then lastly, care. C-A-R-E. So that is PHC. P stands for primary, uh, H stands for health, then C stands for care. That is PHC in full. 
It will be asked somewhere, what is PHC in full? So you will simply say, PHC is primary health care. What is in session two? Uh, primary health care activity. What is primary health care? What does it mean? So I'm going to give you a still uh, two minutes and you think about the meaning of primary health care, then we shall compare with mine. There are those children who say, after all, he's going to, to tell us, let us not do anything. That's not good. You have to use the brain to think. Then as we move, we shall not just uh, spoon feed you, give you everything. Give you time, think, and then we move on. One minute now. I know some people have already finished. That is good. So can we move? What is primary health care? Primary health care is the essential care where individuals, families, and communities come together to solve their health problems. Can we read it through again? Primary health care is the essential care where individuals, families, and communities come together to solve their health problems. Now we are going to spell here only one word. Okay, two. Can we spell essential quickly? E-S-S-E-N-T-I-A-L. -S -S -E essential. Then can we spell individuals? I-N-D-I-V-I-D-U-A-L-S. Individuals. So you keep practicing those uh, spellings and you keep practicing the definitions and everything that we teach. So once more, what is primary health care? Primary health care is the essential care where individuals, families, and communities come together to solve their health problems. This means individuals have something that they do as individuals, you as an individual, I as an individual, and then uh, the families also, there are some things that they do to promote PHC. Then the community at large, also there are some activities or some things that, that are done by the community to promote pa, uh, primary health care. So uh, as we move on, uh, we are going to look at the elements uh, of PHC, elements of primary health care. What are these elements? I want to give you again one minute to first think and write for me uh, three elements of primary health care. Just three minutes, I mean two minutes. I hope you are done. Those children who are very active and they are interested in learning, I think they've already finished because for them they care about their education, they want to learn, so they don't just sit. I know you are all very good children and you are finished. So what are these elements? Elements of primary health care, we have these. These are things that shows you that there is PHC in this area. So these are the elements. They are the ones that will show you that there is primary health care. There is an essential care where individuals, families, and communities come together to solve their health problems. So how do they solve? These are elements. One, immunization. Can we say immunization? And can we spell the word immunization quickly? I-M-M-U-N-I-S-A-T-I-O-N, immunization. Then we have family planning. Uh, can we spell family planning? F-A-M-I-L-Y. P-L-A-N-N-I-N-G, family planning. We shall uh, go deep and discuss about these one by one. Then others like family planning, those ones you learn them in some uh, upper classes. Then we also have first aid. We have water and sanitation. We have maternal and child health care. Then lastly, we have food and nutrition. So when these exist in, the, in an area, you just know 
there is primary health care going on or taking place. So can we finally, lastly, read through the elements of PHC very quickly and we move to another step. One, immunization, family planning, first aid, water and sanitation, maternal and child health care, then food and nutrition. We move on, as we discussed in our definition up there that uh, primary health care is the essential care where individuals, <coughs> families and communities come together to solve their health problems. So what are the roles? Each of these three parties, when we talk about an individual, you have some things that you are supposed to do. So those are roles of an individual. Then we, when we come to the family, the family also has uh, roles that is supposed to play to promote PHC. Then when we go to the communities, they also have their uh, roles that they are supposed to do. People in that community are supposed to do to promote primary healthy care. So what are these now? We are going to first of all look at the roles played by an individual as a person. What are you supposed to do in order to promote uh, primary health care? One, bathing daily. Some of you try to dodge, especially when it is very cold. So when you dodge bathing, it means you are not helping to promote primary health care. So you are not solving your health problems. That is very, very bad. So we should always bathe daily so as to promote our primary health care. Then what else are you supposed to do? Uh, brushing teeth. You know what we use? We shall uh, talk about this in detail when we come to uh, uh, oral health somewhere ahead. But you should always brush your teeth daily. So when you do that, you are promoting uh, what we call primary health care. Then what else? Washing hands before eating food. Even when you are so hungry, don't just rush. Because you, are, you, you have seen they have served very nice food there. Saying, oh, when I wash hands, I, I will take my time there. No, you must wash hands before eating. Why do we have to wash hands? Sometimes to remove that from the hands and also to avoid contaminating food. Because you never know, you may uh, have touched somewhere where there are some germs. And when you just come to eat, you will contaminate the food and you put, you eat the germs that will bring some sickness. So you do this to promote PHC and also for your uh, health issues. Uh, then lastly, Lastly, we also talk about boiling drinking water. Why do we boil drinking water? To kill germs. And you know germs are, are living things that cause diseases. So if you drink unboiled water, you, you may take in germs and you get uh, some diseases. So avoid it and we should, we should always boil drinking water water. So when we do this and some others that are not on this list, we are promoting primary health care. And these are the roles that are done by an individual. Lastly, can we read through these roles quickly? One, bathing daily, brushing teeth, uh, washing hands before eating food, boiling drinking water, and many others. Then we move on. These are some pictures. Um, what do we have to do? All these are other things that we are, we are supposed to do that are on the other list of an individual. You see what this one is doing? Cutting your fingernails short. Then also combing your hair. You are trying to work on your personal health. Combing the hair, you are promoting PHC. 
at the same time. You are helping yourself. Then we also have washing clothes, and this one was on the list, uh, brushing teeth. Then we have these ones also, uh, cleaning the compound, sweeping the house, uh, washing utensils, washing compounds. Those are all ways, and those are all things that an individual can do to promote primary health care. Uh, we move on. What does the family do? What are roles played by the family to promote PHC or primary health care? The family should ensure uh, that bushes around your homes are slashed. So we can say, what does the family do? Slashing bushes around our homes around the homes. Don't leave it to become so bushy because uh, the bushes are sometimes, actually not sometimes, are homes of vectors. Vectors will breed from there, then they will come in the house to disturb you like mosquitoes. So the family must ensure that the bushes around homes are cut short by slashing them. Then draining stagnant water. Can we say that? Draining stagnant water. Can we spell the word stagnant quickly? Stagnant. S-T-A-G-N-A-N-T. -A -A stagnant. If this spelling gets away from the head, we have another word that we can use for stagnant water, and that is still water. Just still. S-T-I-L-L. -L. So we can say but draining still water. That is another way, another activity or another role of the family to promote primary health care. What else? Should ensure that all the family members sleep under, uh, under well-treated mosquito nets without holes. If they have holes, mosquitoes will still attack. They will still come and bite you. So the family should ensure each member sleeps under a well-treated mosquito net. Then what else does the family do? Sweeping rubbish around homes. Any member of the family can do that. But that is a role of the family. Then uh, lastly, the family can ensure balanced diet. That members of the family should feed on a balanced diet. We know what a balanced diet means. I'm sure of that at least. Then uh, I have some pictures. A meal containing almost all food values in their right amount. That's what we call a balanced diet. Don't eat only one thing, only one food value. You must make sure that uh, the family must make sure that the food you are eating has almost all food values and in their right amount. Don't take in too much of carbohydrates and you then, you then take little of proteins. That will still not be a balanced diet. Then what else? Uh, maintaining family hygiene. That is also a role of the family. Uh, we talked of uh, slashing slashing bushes around uh, our homes. Then the family also has the washing of utensils and, and many others. Then the family should also ensure immunization of all members in the community, especially uh, uh, little ones, the children, they should be taken for immunization. Then what are the roles of the communities? What is a community supposed to do at large? Now, this community is a group of families now. Family A, family B, family C, they all come together to ensure some things. So what are they supposed to do? Uh, the community should uh, construct, uh, we are going to talk about uh, construction of public toilets or latrines. They should put them in place if they are not there in your areas. 
make sure maybe you whisper to daddy and they mobilize with other members of the community to ensure that there are some public uh, toilets or latrines in your community. Then we also have construction of health centers where people can easily go and access medical facilities, medical care. Then the community should also ensure the general cleanliness of the environment. Then also construction of roads because you don't have to just uh, walk through bushes, you may get some injuries there. So all those are a role played by the community to promote primary health care. Then we have here some pictures, construction of health centers. We talked about that. Then this one was missing in our list, uh, protect water sources. So this is a role done by the community. You must make sure that uh, water sources are protected, provide some uh, contamination and maybe um, uh, spoiling or uh, disposing some animal waste there because animals can just move. They don't know that people pick here water for cooking or for, uh, for drinking. They will just go there. So um, the community must make sure that all water sources are protected by fencing there maybe. Then uh, construction of roads and also repairing them where possible. All those are roles of uh, are roles of the community. So uh, my good children, uh, I'm going, we are going to stop here. I've organized for you a very, very simple activity. And I hope you are going to sit down, concentrate, and write it well. Uh, I want to stop here. Thank you for watching. God bless you.